Hello YouTube. Today we're going to talk about a little known biotech company which has as much as 273% upside according to an analyst at Dawson James. So today we're going to be talking about Genprex which you can fi find under the ticker GNPX on the NASDAQ. That is right on the big board. So who is Genprex because it lo looks like the company is up by 6.5% today or June 28th. And this is very interesting because in the last five days, the stock appears like it's forming a very solid base and it wants to push higher. And this is interesting because the company is currently only worth about $41 million American. But when we look to CRISPR, who is the big dog in the space for gene therapy, they are up by, uh, sorry, their market cap is $4.51 billion or 100 times bigger than Genprax. We can also note that the stock is up by 39% year to date, which appears like the Kathy Woods uh, backed company is doing quite well. And the sector is ripe for disruption and for gains. So when we look to the uh, gene therapy market from 2020 to 2030, it grows from, from about 2.5 billion in 2020 to 15.6 billion in 2030, which is currently a projection. And this is so interesting because the company is up today on pretty big news. Genprex received U.S. FDA fast track designation for Requarsa Im immunogene therapy in combination with Tencentrix for the treatment of small cell lung cancer. And I don't know about you, but I had someone in my family who was personally impacted by lung cancer. This was uh, not something that was easy to watch, not something to easy to live through. And I was just the person who was watching. This was my aunt. And it was very, very... Um, sad to watch this process happen. So if there is anything out there which can make uh, lung cancer a more um, <clears throat> a more uh, more sustainable uh, therapy, or for if there's a way for them to suffer less, I am all for that. I've personally seen this firsthand. So today, the company headquartered in, uh, in Austin, Texas, on June 28th, is telling us that they have received a clinical stage gene. Uh, sorry, they are a clinical stage gene therapy company focused on developing life-changing therapies for patients with cancer and diabetes. Today announced that the U.S. FDA has granted the FTD for the company's lead drug candidate in combination with uh, Genentech, Genentech um, and their Tencentric in patients with extensive, uh, extensive stage small cell lung cancer who did not develop tumors progressing after receiving uh, Tencentric and chemotherapy as initial standard treatment. So this is, a, this is a pretty big deal because honestly, I have not really heard about much innovation in the space for quite some time. As we mentioned before, there are a number of reasons why we want to consider Genprex for a potential investment as it is poised for a significant uptight potential in 2023. Notably, we have an analyst here um, who is uh, at Dawson James who thinks that the stock could go as high as about $3. They have a buy rating and a $3 price target. So let's start going through the reasons why we might want to consider this company. Number one, analyst opinion. <clears throat> Earlier this year on January 20, sorry, on January 30th, Jason Colbert, director of research at Dawson James, initiated coverage on Gen uh, Genprax with a $3 target, which indicates a potential upside of nearly 300% from its opening price of 80 cents on May 31st. Uh, number two, the market, uh, massive market potential or the total addressable market. The global gene therapy market was valued at $2.9 billion in 2021 and is expected to grow to a whopping $15.6 billion by 2030. That chart we just looked at. Poised to grow at an uh, at a annual co compounded annual growth rate or CAGR of 20.2% from 2022 to 2030. That is very high. Anything in, in the double digits for a kegger means that this sector is hot. And we just looked at CRISPR to see that there is a lot of upside potential. Number three, exclusive license agreement. While strengthening its diabetes gene therapy program, Genprex entered into an exclusive licensing agreement with the University of Pittsburgh, granting Genprex a worldwide exclusive license to certain patent applications and related therapies. Sorry, related technologies. Number four, FDA fast track. This is what every drug company wants. The company's lead product candidate or Recorsa is being evaluated as a treatment for non-small cell lung cancer, which we just looked at the news release, which showed us that they received that designation. 
And this is very important because it shows that there is a lot of potential for the sector, which has not been disrupted for quite some time, or the small cell lung cancer uh, segment. And finally, there is a promising clinical results. The company has recently announced promising data from a, from a uh, Q1 2023 study evaluating a gene therapy for type 1 di diabetes that has resulted in, in the reduction of insulin requirements and improved glucose tolerance, supporting the potential for advanced human clinical trials. And this is quite bullish because, as we noted, the potential for the gene therapy space is big. It is growing from $2.5 billion in 2020 to $15.6 billion in 2030. And the market for, sorry, the private investments in life sciences has grown dramatically during that period as well. We talked about CRISPR, but there's a lot of small companies making big disruptions like Genprex. And we can note here that private investors are also noticing the space with investments that are basically uh, zero in 2014 to growing to tens of billions of dollars by 2021. We all know what happened in 2020, and we know that there is a lot of potential when we are behind the right horse. So with that said, these are the reasons why we want to consider potentially investing in Genprex, which we noted can be found un under the ticker GNPX on the NASDAQ. And we thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you again.